Number of deaths uh, are up once again. Number While New York Governor Andrew Cuomo on Monday reported some 600 new deaths in his state from the coronavirus to bring the total to nearly 4,800, he noted that the increase in fatalities, while still by far the most of any state, has appeared to level off over the past few days. While none of this is good news, uh, the flattening, possible flattening of the curve is uh, better than the increases that we have seen. New York State also saw a drop in new hospitalizations. A glimmer of hope, perhaps, to kick off a week that government officials warned would be brutal, as illustrated Monday by several health care workers in New York who took to the streets to protest the ongoing dire lack of supplies. Among them, Jillian Primiano, an ER nurse at Brooklyn's Wyckoff Medical Center, which built a makeshift morgue to stack its deceased. Dystopian, apocalyptic. I am seeing people die every single day. We don't have the cleaning supplies that we need. We don't have the space that we need. We don't have the staff that we need. There are refrigerated trucks outside of my hospital, and it's poor people who are dying in record numbers. It's not the rich. They call it indiscriminatory. It's not. The nation's top infectious diseases expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, stressed one day earlier that the key to preventing the spread of the virus remains strict social distancing. So if we really want to make sure that we don't have these kinds of rebounds that we're worried about, it's mitigation, mitigation, mitigation. That's the answer. California Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday toured Sacramento's old sleep train arena, once home to the Sacramento Kings, which is being converted to a hospital as the state prepares for a spike in coronavirus cases that could strain the state's health care system. This came after he looked visibly frustrated over the weekend as he implored Californians to remain vigilant. Everybody in the state of California, 40 million strong, practice physical distancing, period, full stop. CVS on Monday said it is launching two drive through rapid testing sites in Georgia and Rhode Island and hopes to perform 1,000 tests a day. While more than 300,000 people in the U.S. have tested positive for the coronavirus, officials believe a shortage of kits has undercounted cases. A Reuters tally shows that more than 10,000 people in the U.S. have died from the virus.